Yale's Demographics Now provides access to over 23 million businesses. If you want to create a company list using Demographics Now, simply use the Business Profile search option. There are two search options available to locate companies. The first is the Business Quick Search. This is a great search to use if you know the company name, phone number, or executive's name and quickly want to access the business profile. The second option is the Business Custom Search. The custom search provides a list of options you have available to create your custom list. Here, you can generate a list of businesses by specifying criteria such as company name, business type, size, ownership, ticker symbol, credit rating, and so much more. Let's try a business custom search now. As an example, let's say we're interested in opening up a bakery in the Denver, Colorado area and we want to find out more about the competition in an effort to determine whether or not this is a viable business opportunity. First off, let's limit the number of businesses to include in this list to a particular location, given the fact that I know I want to open my bakery in the Denver, Colorado area. We can simply type in Denver, Colorado in the geography selection box, and we are immediately shown options of this geography. Or select edit from within this box, or from the middle of the page in the geography selection box. In this example, I'm going to select edit to choose a geography. In this example, I'm going to select edit to choose a geography. Once you've selected edit, you will see that there are several options for limiting your list to a particular location. The most commonly used options are metro major CBSAs by state, zip codes, and cities. You can also add an exact address in the custom radii drive times by entering an address coordinates or by picking a location from the map. In this example, because I am not sure where in the Denver area I'd like to open my business, I want to get information about established businesses in the metropolitan Denver area, which will provide me with details on businesses in Broomfield and Aurora, the surrounding cities outside of Denver proper. Therefore, I'm going to select the Metro CBSAs by state option. If you're not familiar with CBSA, it stands for Core Base Statistical Area, which collectively refers to both metropolitan and micropolitan areas. This option is particularly helpful if you're not sure where exactly a company is located. For example, Ford Motor Company headquarters many people think is in Detroit, Michigan. However, the company actually resides in Dearborn, Michigan, just outside of the major metropolitan area. Next, we'll search for companies by business type. You have three options here, SIC, NAICS, and Keyword by Industry Code. I recommend using the Keyword option because it allows you to search this database like the yellow pages. Not sure what to type in as your keywords to get started? Sometimes starting broad is the best option to see what your options are. In this example, I'll type in the keyword bakery. As a general tip, if you are completely unsure of what to call an industry or what keywords to use in a search, you can use the major industry group search options on the left. This option will allow you to browse through industry names until you are able to locate the industry you are most interested in. I have other options too. I can search by business size, business ownership, and financial details such as a credit rating. Searching by business ownership is very helpful when, let's say, you're looking to open a restaurant in a particular area and you want it to be located by a company's headquarters to ensure you've got a bustling lunch crowd to serve. Selecting headquarters slash branch will allow you to find the best location to set up your restaurant where headquarters offices are located. So back to our example. Let's update the list count to see how many bakery businesses are located in the Denver metro area. To do this, we're going to click on the Update Count at the top of the page. The count will include out-of-business listings in addition to those in business. Knowing what companies went out of business and where they were located in the Denver area is also important to entrepreneurs so the business plan can take into account those past failures when selecting the right location to open their business. If you want to change the list to only include businesses that are still in business, you can modify your result list using the criteria under Special Selects. Now we can view the results in the list by clicking View Results. 
So now we are looking at a list of current businesses that I may be competing with should I choose to open a bakery in the Denver area, as well as those businesses that may have gone out of business. To view the business profile for any company in your list, simply select the company and click on the Details button. The business profile page provides a nicely formatted view of all aspects of the company, including annual sales, credit score and risk, in addition to nearby businesses and nearby competitors. You can print this page by clicking on the Print button, or you may download the contents by using the Download button. To get back to the complete list of companies, click on the Back button. You may download this complete list by selecting all companies in the list and clicking on the Download button. It is important to note, however, that the maximum number of businesses that you can download at one time is 100. This will provide you with options of downloading the summary or detailed list. In order to view all of the information about the companies in your list, you will want to download the detailed report. Once you download your list, it can be refined further in Excel, saved in your My Documents folder on your computer, or uploaded to a database. We can view any company location on a map by first selecting those companies and then clicking on View on Map. Note from the map we can toggle the label on or off to include the names of the businesses or simply look at the locations without them. We can return to the list of businesses simply by clicking on the Business Households tab. From here we can either revise the search or start over with a new search by clicking on the appropriate button.